So in today's video, we're going to be bidding on fodder during Division Rival Rewards. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. Now I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is putting into practice the video released yesterday, which was how to make money and how to win fodder for really cheap during division rival rewards. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it and basically just show you guys the results and um, yeah, give you guys, I guess, a bit of post bidding analysis and what I think went well, what didn't go well, what I maybe do for the future. And hopefully you guys can pick up some points Pointed. So I've been bidding for about 20 minutes and it was a lot less successful than I thought it would, but it still was relatively successful. So this is what I've managed to win. Managed to win myself a bunch of 88s, uh, 189 and a bunch more 88s. Now I've won I Ooh. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I've managed to somehow win something. Like the market basically has been pretty rubbish uh, for the last 15 minutes. So all the deals come between about 9 to 10 minutes past 9. And then other than that, you can see I just get outbid very, very fast. But that's why I was quite surprised because uh, I didn't expect to see that O-Black. But... Yeah, for the main efficiency, all you got to do is bid on cards for about 10 minutes. So you basically managed to pick up all these cards in 10 minutes. What I'll do is I'll show you how much profit I've made per card. So I was also doing this all live on stream with all the filters up. So if you guys ever do want to join me every single Thursday on Division Rivals, I'll have all the filters up. Uh, and again, I'll probably be bidding for about 10, 15 minutes. You guys can ask me any questions before, ask me any questions after, and even ask me any questions pre. That's what we kind of did today. And I'd say it was quite good fun. I never do bidding. Uh, and I actually might start doing this after lightning rounds as well, because I think it's... You know, it's been quite successful, bear in mind. Again, it only took about 10 minutes of input and we've generally made really good money. But we'll start off right here. Oblacks uh, managed by one, two, three, four Oblacks right here for, well, two for 9.2, uh, two for 8.1. Uh, I did actually try and bid on loads of different ratings. Uh, if I can load this up again. I tried bidding on 85s. Uh, 88s, 89s, and 90s and 91s. Had the best success with 88s, with a little bit of success with 89s. Although what I will say is I did see a lot of 89s end on still really cheap prices. So I do think, personally, I found 89s really... Uh, I probably, if I bidded like 15k on my 89s instead of 12k, I would have found them a lot more efficient. But yeah, so the O-Blacks, I went and picked up 3 for 8 and 9k. Oh, sorry, 4 for 8 and 9k. We're well, going for 14k, uh, meaning there's a 5 to 6k difference with about 1.2k tax. Meaning we're going to make ourselves around about 4 5k per card there, which again is pretty decent. The creme de la creme on this, uh, I guess, bidding stint was I was bidding on 89s up to 12. Should have gone maybe up to 15, but I want a Diaz here at 12, who I can go and sell for 24k. Meaning after tax, I'm going to make myself a 10.5k profit. I also started when bidding, uh, I started bidding at 8.1k and then kind of saw the success rate wasn't amazing. So I upped it to 9.1 and I found significantly better success. Uh, obviously, I, we talked about this in the previous video, but we were buying these cards significantly... We were buying these cards, I think, about 50% cheaper, but if you the cheaper you buy the card, the more profit, but the harder they are to win. So what I decided was, I said before, after about five minutes, for do you know what? I'm trying to win them too cheap. I'm not winning enough cards. What I'll do is I'll pay another K for them for the sake of me being able to win more cards. And, you know, we managed to win a lot more cards when basically lowering the profit by 1k, but winning enough cards to make up for us, you know, getting less profit per card. So we managed to pick up two Oshermans at 9.1k. Well, again, they're also going to go on for 14k, meaning a 5k difference, around about 4.5k profit after tax on both of them. We also have Bernardo Silva, again, going for 14, who I picked two up for 9.1k, so another nice 5k per card there. And the same for the last three. I've uh, got one Kimmich, one Griezmann, uh, one Endler for uh, 9.1k, who again can all go up for 14k. So it's the first time I've actually done really bidding after awards uh, this year, just because, again, I'm not a massive fan of bidding because I'm streaming, and when you're streaming, bidding's no fun because people just outbid you, but obviously we're covering the screen, so I wasn't really showing what I was bidding on because, you know, uh, that made that me win even less cards. But, um, yeah, I'd say it's quite successful. Again, my takeaways from this is that you generally only have about 10 minutes to get deals. After 10 minutes, it's really, really rubbish. Now, what you can do is you can start bidding on cards, obviously, before. Uh, so, again, the rewards came out at 8. Bidding basically worked between 9 to 10 past 9. So, what I'd say is you probably want to look at jumping on the game 5 minutes before 9. Get all your bids lined up that end between, you know, 9 and 10 past 9. And then all you got to do is bid for about 10, 15 minutes. So the maths are in, and it is going to be uh, that we're making ourselves 6k per card um, on these two that we got for 8k. We make ourselves 5k per card on the rest of the 88. And we make ourselves 12k per card 
on the um, on the uh, on the Ruben Diaz, meaning it makes 79k before tax, 9k of tax, meaning we basically made 70k profit in about 15 minutes of bidding after division rivals. So you don't really get a better return on investment than this. And then again, this sort of method works really well every hour after lightning rounds. Again, it will be about 10 past to around about 20 past 7, 8, 9, and 10 on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because of the sets of lightning rounds. So, I mean, if you can make 70k in all those times, you know, that's an easy, like, 350k. We've probably only put about an hour of input in. So, um, yeah, happy days. So, hopefully, again, this has uh, incentivized you guys to want to go and do this method in the future. Again, it's the first, first time I've done this. I did kind of expect to win more cards, but at the same time, if you look at it and look at it as in you made 70k with just 15 minutes of input, I don't think anyone's going to be complaining. That's, you know, some nice, nice, easy money. It's a very straightforward thing as, uh, in terms of method as well, not too complicated. But that is going to wrap that up. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.